Hello everybody and welcome to Comedy on the Couch again. This evening we have on the couch Kelly Cannon. And Kelly Cannon, he is Master Masseuse. Then we also have Monique Latisse on the couch. Um, a lot of the businesses that normally you would be able to call up, right. um, you weren't able to contact them. Right. Um, so. Oh, so you came up through COVID. I was going to say, That's you snuck right in there. Wait, wait, wait. Ah. I think I heard him say he came up through COVID. Yes. Okay. yes. Okay. Some people actually, COVID has been a come up for them. Yes. I mean, I, me too. I, I thought I was going to find my love doing COVID. Really? I did. I, I, something in my spirit could tell me you were going to find your husband in this season. Okay, so did he knock on the door? No. What happened? No, he, I, I don't know what happened. I guess God didn't get the memo. Okay, so you know what? Sometimes we can't rush God because, you know, he's making this man for you, okay? Okay, he's making him for you. It, yeah. takes a, it takes a strong man to handle funny women. Is that the truth, though? They say like, I'm it. I'm so tired of hearing that. Okay, I think that's right. Seriously, I don't know how to date. Okay. When should he call you? Why isn't he calling you? Um, when to fall back? When to step up? Um, are you doing too much? Am I not doing enough? Is he? Does that mean anything? Can I can I read the red signals and like I'm so? Sick I don't of it. know how. I've never <sighs> approached someone like to even if I've seen you and I like you, I I I don't want to be shut down. See, I'm aggressive. So I, Ooh. Like, well, I used to be. Not okay. now. now no, you're a Leo. Right. You're but a now, Leo. Now I, I fall back. A well, me and Kelly actually grew up together. Yeah. Okay. We actually grew up together. Okay. So where we were um, a couple of pieces of pepper in a big bowl of salt. So. That's a good, oh, I got that's you. A good analogy. I got you. Okay. Okay. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. So what little bit of pepper we did have, we might have been related. So I can't go over there and ask it if you yeah. know what I mean. Because that's how close net everybody was in right, our town. Right, so right. if I like you it's somehow really or cool. another, we might be related. So I can't even like you. So I don't need. So I was, it was. So that's how I was like, wait a minute. You went from kicking ass to rubbing it out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> that was a good that one. That was a good one, girl. That was a good one. She's, I think she wants to get me out of the house. So. Oh, uh, okay. So, Are you a nagger? Why would she want you out of the house? Are you a I, nagger? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I keep trying to figure that out. That woman do not want that man out the house. So she, first of <laughs> I all. I don't know why he said that. Okay, because it's, it's, oh, wait a minute. I get it. Because she might be saying it if she wants the opposite. We're women. Uh, that's right. Shit. Well, We're women. You gotta read between the lines. See? Yeah. And I need to hang around you guys more. Exactly. Okay, out. so I, I just let like you know. Uh-uh, no. She was acting like she didn't want you to know. She wanted you to put her in a headlock and rub it out. <laughs> <laughs> How was the transition from going from being a black belt, a sensei, to being a massage? So actually, they're, they're kind of related. So the reason why, the way that they are related is through pressure point. So in martial arts, mm -hmm. we learn a lot of pressure points, mm -hmm. you know, to uh, basically to hurt to people, you know, mm -hmm. but, you know, there's in martial arts, there's a balance, there's a yin and yang, okay. you know, just like in life. Okay. So in martial arts, you know, you hurt people, you can find pressure points to disable the person, but there's also the part where pressure points will help heal the body. Mm. Yeah. So that was sexy. For real, I'm like, it was. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you came over here on this couch with these two cougars. But anyway, I was looking at that and I was like, wait a minute. I think he might have came up with somebody. He over there kicking everybody ass, but then he going to fix it later. That's that's smart. Now what? Now that's, that's genius. Smart. Now that's yeah. genius. Okay. Yeah. Now I don't yeah. know how you came up with it, but that's genius. Oh, and it's marketable. Yes, it is. It's very marketable. Okay. And I'm brewing one up. So you thought the person was somebody else, but now they're on the table and up underneath the sheet. Wow. There's somebody else. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh you God. see where I was going with that? Wow. Woo. You see where I was going with that? Yeah, so uh, you got to massage it out. Because you're hired. Uh, I don't know about massaging that out. Okay, no, no, not that area, but I'm just <laughs> saying. Uh, okay, I'm not saying that area, but has that ever happened to you? You know what? It has not happened yet. Um, but it's coming. I, but I, I wouldn't be surprised, though. Mm -hmm. It's um, 2020. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, it's coming. Exactly. Oh, it's coming. You know, but I, I do get a lot, you know, I do get a few men that I, that I do, uh, you know, even athletes. Okay. You know, I do a lot, a few of the uh, professional football players. And right. Nice. Like that. So, so um, wait a minute. I just heard something. Professional football players. They need to laugh, too. Absolutely. They do. Absolutely. 
So uh, my sis over here, she might need to, you know, okay, I'm just, uh, you know, love connections. I'm just thinking of it all. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> if you know any football players. <laughs> yeah, so I do, all, I do all kinds, all athletes, you know, from mm -hmm. all genders and, you know, all different kinds. So. Explain to me and Monique about this cupping. Mm -hmm. You called and you were like, you was like, Mo. You got to have one. Does that hurt? Yes. So you have to have a good massage. Oh. So now he's going to tell you about the cupping. Okay. Yes. Go. Yeah, so cupping is um, it's an ancient uh, technique that was that's really um, that from Eastern medicine. Okay. And what it is is they used to it's the ancient way to do it. They used to put a little alcohol in, and then they would uh, light it up, and then they would put it on your body. Oh, oh! Put it on your what? They put it on your body. <laughs> <laughs> They put it in certain areas, like so. For instance, like if you had um, a cold or like ammonia, like back in the day, and that brings the muscle, brings the muscle up, so that it can help heal the muscle okay. a little bit faster. So, is it the same thing? Like I've been seeing these women on Instagram um, trying to get rid of like cellulite, like on the side. Yes, absolutely. You could do that. You could use it as well. So you can get rid of all this. So I was thinking. So, thanks to COVID. I have some little things growing on the side, you know, because <laughs> I'm picking up a little bit of weight. Yes. <laughs> so now I have the little cellulite on the side. And, you know, to me, I'm like, <laughs> I finally got cellulite. But then I'm like, wait a minute. Um, <laughs> there is cellulite. <laughs> so you get the massage and it did not end well. It did not end well. Oh, you're just not going to end it right there. <laughs> you're not just going to end it right there and just sip. Sip tea. No, we want to hear. It's about getting rid of your stress. It's about getting rid of your pain. You know, it's about letting go. Let so, go. Yeah. I let go, okay. But that's a good thing. Most people can't do that. Did so you fart? On the table. No, I'm sorry. No. <laughs> said, did you fart on the table? Did you release? No, I'm only kidding. Yeah, it, the orgasm was crazy. Oh! It was, I, it was I just, 2012. I it was just too much for me. Okay, would you, would you have another... Would you, if, would you prefer a male or a female? I've had both. Well, it depends on what my intentions are when I get it. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It gets too complicated with me. Ooh. I would get one for my birthday, though. Like, if my birthday come back around, I wouldn't. I don't know about what we If your it. birthday? I know. I'm we saying. both caught that. We both <laughs> caught that if. I'm saying, like, I would treat myself to one that was a special occasion. I just didn't have, like, I have regular ones where you go to massage parlors and they give you one. But the last you one flip I flip them over and they are. I have it. What, what, where is it? That, yes, they are on Instagram. Okay, well, tag me in the next one. Okay, I, I will tag one. you. I will tag you. Now, so there, there's certain techniques in massages. Mm -hmm. I believe you are too because you're a black belt in karate now. Now, Mo, no disrespect, but she got a nice size backside on her. You understand what I'm saying? They don't flip the women over. They probably could have flipped me over. Though. Yeah, I'm trying to explain to you that the women was your size and they was flipping them over. And so that's when it comes to that, so okay, they, they have time massage. I wish we can get an example. There's, you know, I know. <laughs> There's Thai massage, mm -hmm. and, and then they have this new massage called yoga Thai, yoga Thai massage. So I have a question. <clears throat> so, like, as far as comedians are concerned, like, we, I know for me, I struggle with pricing. How long have you been in the business? Uh, four I'm years now. Four years? Okay. This is true. So this I is true. I know as a comedian, I've struggled for years <clears throat> on pricing mm -hmm. what you know what should I charge what should I do for free what should I scale back on and it actually caused a big stress in my life because we out here grinding we we get outfits hair done nails done we doing the, you know we got to get to the places car lashes fix, lashes we got to get our car fixed so we can get to these places and then we get there we get $25 $100 how do you decide and feel comfortable with comfortable with what you're charging I think once you understand your worth then, then you're going to charge. You and I see, hear that a lot. And, and it doesn't matter what other people are charging. It's a matter of what you're worth. And, and if you love what you're doing, you have to be able to keep doing it. So you have to be able to, in order to do that, you have to charge in the proper and, uh, you know, what you're worth. If you do not. So how long did it take you to know that I have something here? I, um, I can go ahead and charge my price. You know what? It kind of, for me, it took it right away because... I was in the corporate business, and once I, I understood that they weren't paying me what I was worth, so this was something that I loved to do, mm. and I was like, you know what, I love doing this, 
people know my worth. And at first, I got the same react like the reaction was, "Hey, you're too high." But there was other people who were paying me, and then they started talking and started saying, "This guy is really good." And then other people started paying that price. Yeah, I heard you. So they come up. They they come up. We we love what we do, and COVID is COVID is messing it up. Yeah, COVID is messing it up right now. So how did you um, how did you know that you wanted to do comedy? I didn't know. I've always loved entertainment. Yeah. I've always loved like music and um, the arts. I knew I wanted to be a performer, um, but I didn't. I didn't know really anyone that was doing comedy. I didn't know anything. I watched it on television, mm-hmm. but I didn't know anything about it really. So at the time when I started comedy, I was so depressed. So I was like, really? And I'll never forget, I put on Facebook that I was doing the show. The people that knew me jumped in the comment was like, about time. See that? Look about, at that. Because I've always been aggressive. Like, right. I, was, I was the type of person that come into the house. Like, say if you were having a party. Mm-hmm. I'll come into the house. Unless I'm playing Shy Girl. Because I play Shy Girl, too. Okay. Mm-hmm. You see me out. Mm-hmm. I don't always be like, oh, wow. Mm-hmm. She, she, like do, she do turn on the um, Shy Girl. She do. But, you know, if I'm feeling good, I'm in a good mental space, mm-hmm. I'll come and turn the party out. Mm. You know what I mean? So the people knew me for that. So it kind of, like, just made sense. Okay. Something that clicked. Yeah. I just knew it. It was just something. You know, you watch mm-hmm. someone's journey. Mm-hmm. And then when you went out there, I said, oh, shit. She coming she out. Ain't get great change. Yeah. And <laughs> I love to see who you matured into you was always dope i always loved you you always Thanks. had an energy that god had to give it back to you you made so much deposits that you had to start taking withdrawals now it's, that it's, is so dope thank you why they don't get why is this not happening for me have you made withdrawals I right. mean, deposits right no that is true like i really will like it doesn't matter where the show was if i seen mo was on the show or somebody was, was on there. the show i would show up i'm <laughs> i'm driving it don't like did you just drive an hour in some tr- yes i did Yes, I did. Because not only does he do, he'll kick your ass and then rub it out, but he also does skincare and he's oh, like wow. an esthetician. Oh, wow. So he's, he's bumping pimples on the back? You don't give any samples out of your massages? Samples? You want, I'll give you a sample. I'm not saying that I want one now. I'm just asking. Yeah, I'll give you a sample. I don't know if I can handle, handle one on camera. I don't think she can handle a, a, a sample. I, I, it's been she a while. sound a little, uh, little shyness. Give her one of those... Uh, Okay, come one on. of those, one of those, yeah, le- yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see, I want to see this. <laughs> I want to see this. Go, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Oh lord. One of those. Uh, I'm gonna just sit here and watch. <laughs> Is she still with us? I'm tense, right? Ooh, oh, that hurt me a little bit. Mm. I thought you said you was aggressive. America, did her voice change? <laughs> did she say yes? Oh, he has nice smooth hands, too. Oh, I think she almost went to sleep. America. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's a bomb. He's a okay, bomb. Okay, see, look at bomb. that. He's a bomb. What's next for Monique Latiz? Oh, I want to travel the world. Yeah? I wanna like, where would you like to go? Everywhere. I just want a motivational speak and just travel and do my comedy. I want to do my motivational speaking during the day and do my comedy at night and just travel yeah. the country. I love it. What's next for you? <laughs> it's called Full Focus Body Therapy. And full Focus Body Therapy. What I, what I would like to do with the massage is um, basically have other therapists go to make house calls. Even my daughter, she's in an interracial relationship in New York, and she was attacked. Oh! You know, she, you know people came up to her and was like, what you doing with that white guy? You black bee. So, I mean... <sighs> There's people that are... This is Monique Latisse. Tell everybody where they can find you. Look at my camera and tell everybody where they can get this massage, honey. <laughs> that concludes our comedy on the couch this evening. Thank you, guys. Take it easy. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, camera crew, we're back at action. I'm feeling good tonight. Give it up for me. Yes, honey. I lost 30 pounds. Give it up for me. But I see some of y'all looking at me like you're still big, Monique. Mind your business. Ladies, you know what we do when we lose weight. What we do? We go to the Rainbow Shop for a meal. We go in there with $30, come out with 29 outfits. I got five of these jumpers. You can't tell me shit. <laughs> <laughs>